Hey, what is up, guys? Here we about our crowns and own our business. Okay, so um, I seen a question in the comments down below, and Rob, great question, matter of fact, and I just was so compelled to actually do a video because I feel like this is a must video. So the question was, um, how do I keep the website open um, without making income and because the website could be anywhere from a hundred dollars to a month or thirty dollars to a month so when I first started I I just did a lot of researches on a lot of people around me and see what they were doing and everybody around me had a website but everybody around me had a website so I was like, I need a website. You know, I had zero dollars in a bank and that was almost two dollars two years ago um, with starting this business. Um, so I went to make my own website and it, I ended up selecting the $30 a month plan because at the time I was still working. So um, I was capable of like funding that. So I funded that in the beginning and I did come in on off season, so automatically I had to learn how to market. Marketing in any biz, with business, is that's the name of the game, is marketing. But, um, so, I came in like around September, October, and even though I caught a whole bunch of sales and all that other stuff, I came in on off season. Anybody know with these bounce houses, off November, December, November, December, January, almost to February you need a four month plan and because this is when the business is not popping so um that's when I made sure my website was in place because I started to do like the Valentine's Day setup so all the customers went there and once I had like over a hundred visitors to my website and I was just realized my website was working um I kept my payment option on Keeping your payment option on is allowing, you pay the $30 a month and that allows you to accept payments like credit cards. So if you're looking to accept credit cards, um, you can make your own website for like $30 a month and then you can accept credit cards. And then it's like um, paying off for itself if you're um, making that, getting a lot of orders. So basically, um, what I'm doing now, well, what I did for the winter, I actually cut off that option, like, because that's when I really, I stopped working and then I just went full force into my business. And then, um, during the winter months, you barely get orders, but if you have a great marketing strategy for those four months, you're going to get orders. Um, that's how I build myself off uh, because I came in on the off season, so I had to work hard. So, but it works now. Two two years later, it works now. That type of um, marketing strategy. So, what I would say is, if you don't have any money and you um, you're not generating orders, just use the website because you can just use the website for information. You don't have to pay for it. And then accept Cash App and PayPal. From what I'm seeing, people are more comfortable with PayPal, um, depending on the type of customer. And then some, the younger generation is comfortable with Cash App. So you can still have your Cash App and PayPal and have your website because your website gives you that more, you're looking more professional. But you can accept credit cards through Cash App or PayPal if you're worried about that. Or just accept the deposit do it like that. Accept the deposit and then um, get the cash in the due the day of. So um, if you're just looking to just figure out like what to do, I would say do it that way. Um, just do your website. Don't even pay for it. I wouldn't even pay for it until about the two year mark <laughs> for a real website because I'm looking for a real website now. I want the hundred dollar website. But don't even pay for it until you get to about the 200 um two year mark um so people know that you're around and you're not actually going in a hole just to keep a website open so um just use the website for information 
people love information. Can I go? What do you have somewhere to look at? Woofity woo. They don't have no problem sending the money as long as they can see the information, see that you're established, see everything. So um, I would just say do it that way. Hopefully this video was a uh, um, helpful and just gave you a like what did I do for the first two years and just give you an insight of what I'm doing. I hope I ain't rambling, but basically you uh, set up your website, but don't pay for the website. Use it, use it as a domain. Then advertise, drive people to the website. Then people are like, well, how do I pay? Just accept deposits through Cash App and PayPal. Just deposits. So you can get the person more comfortable. That's another way to, so they don't like, I'm not trying to send you all this money and you're going to scam me. It's a lot of scammers out here. But you're not a scammer. So we ain't worried about that. So how I just played it, and then some people just send the whole money. It, it gets to, some customers send the whole payment. Some customers just send a deposit. Whatever is floating your boat, but you need a deposit to book with me because some customers be having you all over the place, and we're not doing that. But if you guys have any more questions, drop them down below, and I'll come back on here and just share you guys what I'm doing, and we're going to keep going through this together because <laughs> we ready for that building. <laughs>